Here's what's going on with the pond build. The last couple days, we've got we had this hole dug out so we can get ready to build our um, koi pond in here. Um, over over a day and a half, this is the amount of water that's accumulated from underground, which is coming down from that hillside back up there. We've always had that problem with this water being around here. You know, it's just too much. So. I don't know if, you, if you've seen our videos, you, you know that we just put in a French drain back here, but you know, we have two French drains running alongside here. One right in front of the wall and one about six, seven feet up in front of the wall. The problem is the French drains aren't deep enough. Um, we're about three feet down at the lowest point there and having three feet, it's just not enough to tie into the existing drains that are not very deep at the next to the house level. So, recently we went ahead and put that French drain in and all the water that's being collected from there is being routed to this sump tank. And from this sump tank, we have the water. Originally, I was gonna pump this water. I was gonna pump this water back into our back, or into, not back into, into, see that? So as the float, as the water comes in and accumulates, the float moves up. Once the float reaches a certain designated spot, the pump turns on and it pumps into my drain pipe for now, which is just temporary. So now, as it turns out, I don't want all this water sitting underneath the rubber mat for the pond. Um, it's just gonna sit there. It's gonna sit there for ages and it's just gonna rot. So to remedy this, what I've decided to do is dig a channel, dig a trench somewhere in this vicinity, preferably up there, but you know, what can you do? Um, it's not exactly the most uh, favorable conditions that we have. Well, I might still put it up there and just do it French drain all the way down underneath this way and just come around. And now I've decided to maybe place the sump tank in here route that water line through this trench all the way down into this sump tank, tie it into the pipe that's being French drained from there to here, and then tie that in to the sump tank. Now the sump tank's gonna have to be about six feet down. So it's a significant amount of uh, distance from the above ground level in order to get this water into the sump tank. Uh, so the water, tank, the tank's gotta be lower than that, otherwise gravity won't work with me here. So it's going to be positioned super low um, enough to fall in and not be able to climb out apparently and then have this pipe be routed into there and then from that sump tank we'll route that line pump it into a water tank that's going to go back behind there and then from the water tank a float valve will control the amount of flow amount of water level in the tank and so that's going to be controlled via water tank down that way and it's just going to be gravity fed um, Unfortunately, I don't think the pond's gonna waste this much water. This is a lot of water. So, and a lot of water from there. There's no way the pond is gonna evaporate that much water in time enough to be able to, you know, I'm gonna have plenty of water basically. There's gonna be, it's gonna be free water galore. So, the next thing I've decided to do is I have decided to route this line to a few tanks instead of just one we're gonna be probably putting maybe two or even three tanks down in here to accommodate for the water flow in here and then every day that water flow is going to be pumped while the sprinkler is on try and push that water at 65 psi's and then we'll go ahead and um try and water the lawns and everything else with it uh, it might be good for a drip system since it's gonna run off low pressure, and we won't have to work too much of it. But this is has turned into a huge project. Um, all the drain system and everything else. This, you know, in reality, at the end of the day, this is a easily a twenty thousand dollar job. So that's where we're at. We'll get you updated later. All right, chills.